Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're looking at high charts, which is a jQuery plugin and um, it makes some pretty nice charts. So if we go over here and I'll just take this away and you can see how that comes in. It looks really nice, it's animated really well and um, just looks like a pretty good chart. So um, it's really easy to get working in its most basic format. So um, I'll just show you that. So let's go over to our HTML here and basically this is all HTML5 boilerplate stuff and if we go down here basically just including jQuery and then including high charts and then you know your own JavaScript file where you're um, basically building the pie chart so if I go over to this main2.js so all of the code right here is just copy and pasted from um, high charts website so if I we go to the pie chart here and then I go to view options and basically I just cut and pasted all of this code and it works just like that. So what I want to do is I want to customize this a bit because um, for example like if these numbers should all add up to 100 in a pie chart. So for example like if I change Firefox 45 to 46 here and we go back here well what happens is oh no that's the high charts page let's go to my website okay so what happens here is it still renders you know even though it's more than 100 percent and we get these weird percentages and basically it just doesn't make sense because a pie chart should add up to exactly 100 percent and i can even put this instead of 445 i can make it 455 and it's not going to give us an error it's it's going to I think what it's doing is it's just um, it's adding up everything, all the numbers, and um, you know, and converting that to a percentage, anyways. So it kind of still works, but um, I don't think it's very good if we're you know feeding our pie chart um, data that adds up to over a hundred. So what I did was I made some changes to this uh, so that we can do a check um, if it's equal to a hundred, and if it's not equal to a hundred, then we are going to throw an error. So, um, we'll actually, just throw an alert in this case. So, um, basically, let's look at you know, um, let's look at high charts example first. So, everything is inside an immediately invoked function expression, and um, we also have you know, inside the um, immediately invoked function expression, we have um, this uh, creating this global variable chart. And then inside that we have the document ready where um, the charts being made. So what I did in mine was um, what I did first is because this plugin wants you to create a, a global variable anyway. So what I did was I first created a namespace, and this localhost variable is going to be um, our global namespace. And then you know whatever sort of global variables we want to create, it's going to be. Um, inside this localhost variable. So um, the reason I chose localhost here was just because I'm working on localhost. If I was um, on a website like example.com, we could do like com example for the namespace. That's sort of um, pretty standard. And like for example, on Yahoo, they create a global variable called Yahoo, and then they that's obviously set to an object, and it's got all kinds of stuff in there. But um, I'm just using localhost for our global namespace and that's set to an object and then it has a property inside it chart one and that's set to an object and chart one is going to have a data so this is what we start off with and then inside the document ready we first creating a variable local to this function called percent total and that's set to zero because we don't have uh, any data yet okay so after that what I'm doing is um, basically if we go back to this other one you'll see that what it's doing is it's immediately creating this pie chart um, without checking anything. So chart is set to new high charts dot chart, and then it's being passed in the object literal. So what I want to do is I want to take this object literal out of here and first uh, create the object literal, and then we're going to do a check on that object literal, which goes from here all the way down to um, somewhere down here. So first we're going to do a check on it and we're going to do a check on this part right here this this series here so this series is actually um, this is an ar array of 
of one length. So it's it's just this is all one array. And inside that it's got an object and the object has these properties and basically what we want to get to is we want to get to this data property right here, which has got you know Firefox IE, it's got these numbers, and it's also got this one right here, which is um, the one that's pre-selected. So uh, the reason why this Chrome one is different is because it's being set as the default one, which which sort of pops out a little bit. Uh, let's just refresh here. So you see one is already coming out a bit and that's why that's like that. So what I want to do is first take this object literal out and then do a check on this data to see if all of these things add up to 100. And if they add up to 100 then we're going to use it and we're going to make the chart or else we're going to throw an error. Okay. So um, let's go back over to my code here. And um, what I'm doing here is the object literal that we want to pull out that's being set to localhost.chart1 and then I'm making this data, I'm making it a property of chart1 because this chart1 is um, basically this is you know what we're working on right now so I thought that um, you know making this data a property of that would be you know sort of a good idea because because this data belongs to this chart one and this chart one might display data and it might not depending on you know whether we add up to 100 or not so um, yeah creating our object literal here and basically this has just got all the same thing um, that was cut and pasted and that's that's just all pasted in there exactly the same and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a check on this right here to make sure it adds up to 100 and if it does we're gonna use it and we're gonna make the chart so we'll go down here and you'll see I create this local variable. So series object is set to localhost.chart1.data.series, okay, our series property here, and series and then zero. Why is that? Because you see what high charts is, series is actually set to an array. And it's an array of one length. So um, I don't know why they did this. I think it could have just been set to um, the object literal, but anyways, they set it to an array, so the array has one length, so we we set that to zero, and then we want so this all of this right here, what I've highlighted here, that's an object, and we want to access the um, you know the data property of it. So I could have done data like this. I could also do dot data. That should be the same thing. Okay, so this is one way to access um, our property here and let's see the check we're doing on here so the first thing I'm doing is I'm taking this whole object right here and I'm storing in this variable because this is just way too long to type every time and um, it also makes the code more readable so we have our series object right here and then we're and then we're gonna loop through this object so the way we loop through objects is with the for in loop so for all of the properties in the series object do a check okay if if the type of series objects property is equal to a number then percent total which is zero percent total is equal to percent total plus that number okay so if it was a number we added on to percent total okay now why do we have to do this else if check if it's not a number because of that chrome one so this data um, this chrome one right here all right so this is this is not set to a number it's set to um, an object literal okay so we have to go inside this object and then we got to check through all of these properties to find one that has a number to get this one and then to add it so else if um, if that the properties is set to an object then we know we have this one right here now we need to loop through this to look for numbers so for prop2 in series object prop, so the reason I use this is just because I used prop already and just makes code more legible. And um, also I think there could be a collision here if these were the same. But anyway, so for prop2 in series object and then the, um, the property element right there. Okay, now we're doing a check and we're checking, we're looping through um, this object right here and looking for numbers okay so if uh, the type of that object is equal to a number 
then we're going to add that onto the percent. Okay, so if all of these added up to 100, then we should have 100 right now. And then we just go down here, simple if statement. If the total is equal to 100, then localhost.chart1.pychart. Here we create a new property on our chart1 object, and that is set to um, the new high charts dot chart, okay, which is the same which was happening over here when they made it right away. So we're just doing um, a check first, and if not, we're going to alert an error, okay? The pie chart doesn't add, add up to 100%, okay? And then we just give ourselves some information there about what is the total, if it's a number or not, okay? So we can go over to um, you know browser here and and that works it adds up to 100 now you can see um, let's change this uh, let's change Safari from 8.5 to 8.6 and refresh and that didn't work just a second okay so I see what I did wrong too we're still linking to main2.js so let's try that again we're gonna save this we're going to link to um, our own JavaScript here and let's refresh here see what happens okay so it says pie chart doesn't add up to 100 percent the percent total 100.1 and the type is number okay so this is just what we wanted so even if we're off by 0.1 um, you know we're gonna get notified of that the charts not gonna be made if we put that back to 5 and then we refresh here okay now it works okay so it has to be equal to 100 uh, for this to work and um, one thing I was doing when I was creating this is just um, this is just useful. I put an alert in here, an alert right here. So if you ever like have trouble, like your numbers aren't adding up, and you you don't know what's happening in your um, loop, just put some alerts in there. And um, so we can try this again, and you're gonna see all of those numbers getting added up. So first one, 45, 26.8, and so on okay and then it works okay and obviously you know once you're um, once everything's working you can take out those alerts so I think that's um, all I want to talk about in this pie chart and um, yeah I highly recommend this uh, high charts for um, good-looking pie charts and also other kinds of charts